Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm wearing the thing I'm reviewing, the Skull Candy Slayer, or Slyer, S-L-Y-R gaming headset. Now let's see if I can plug this thing into the Neo Geo. As luck would have it, yes I can, because my Neo Geo MVS arcade machine has a headphone jack. In fact, it has two of them, perfect for headphones like the Skull Candy SLY. Are we still hearing sounds from the Neo Geo if he's, I'm, me, wearing headphones? Because, for effect, I didn't turn down the speakers. They sound surprisingly good on the Neo Geo, except there's nobody to talk to. Except myself. Way to go, Mark! Get him! Let's go! Yes. Strangely, they don't list the Neo Geo as one of their supported game systems on the packaging. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC get top billing. Conveniently, they forgot Sega Genesis Model 1 as well. But the microphone probably won't do you much good on the old school game console. Sound quality is pretty good as you can hear here. Can you see the sound? It's coming out of the headphones. This is totally what these were intended for. Begin again! They're great looking headphones, and while the ear cups or whatever they're called are a bit small, they're extremely comfortable. I've been using these a lot for PC gaming lately, and enjoy wearing them. They're light and don't get hot and sweaty like some headphones can. Sound quality is decent, bass heavy, what you would expect for a gaming headset. Mid-range and high-end, that's good enough for video games, but I would not recommend these for music made with real instruments. For that, you go Sennheiser with an external amplifier, but that'll cost more and doesn't have a cool fold-out microphone. And Sennheisers don't have neat skulls on the side of them, unless you draw them on there with a sharpie. In addition to the Neo Geo, the Skull Candy headset also works on devices with an 8th inch audio jack like the iPad or the Atari Lynx, how about? the Sega Game Gear, and of course, the Tiger GameCom. So you simply find your audio jack, there it is on the bottom, plug in your headset, turn on the game, and start playing. Of course, the microphone only talks to yourself. Wow. This game sucks. The microphone does work for Xbox 360, PS3, and PCs if they support your microphone. There's a lot of wires with this thing, and that's a bit of an issue for me because you're drowning in cables when using this, even though it has a nice inline mixer that lights up when it's plugged in with the USB connector. You can control your volume and EQ settings there. Also, this is really intended for those of you playing games in stereo, because you run your stereo through the connectors on the headset so you can hear the game in the headphones. You may need some additional RCA cables, and if you're using HDMI audio, it won't help you at all. These are their entry-level headphones. They do make wireless ones. To simplify things, they also come with just a standard 8th inch audio cable to eliminate wire clutter. They're good headphones for the money, and they look great. Victory sounds good. Most importantly, they work well on the Neo Geo, which puts out a surprising amount of bass with headphones. And they do the job on the 360 too, but you'll need to plug yet another cable into the controller. It's the Skull Candy SLYR. What's that, Neo Geo? Yes, I love you too. Especially when I win. <laughs> <laughs>